क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स ए पीरियोडिक फंक्शन ऑफ हाफ वेव सिमेट्री इज नेसेसरली एन इवन फंक्शन एन ऑर्ड फंक्शन नीदर ऑर नॉट इवन बोथ ऑर्ड एंड इवन सो लेट एस सी दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वन सेकेंड ए सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड इट्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फाइन सो यू मैट हैव नोन वॉट इज फोर इयर सीरीज वॉट इज एन एक्सपैंशन ऑफ फोर इयर सीरीज इन फोर इयर सीरीज एक्सपैंशन यूल हैव ए एन बी एन एंड ए नॉट थ्री टर्म्स विल बी देर सो ऑल राइट द फोर इयर सीरीज एक्सपैंशन एक्स ऑफ टी कैन भी एक्सप्रेस एज वॉट इज फोर इयर सीरीज एंड ऑल दोज डिटेल्स विल डिस्कस इन आर रेगुलर क्लास सो इट इज नथिंग बट ए नॉट प्लस सिग्मा एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी ए एन कॉस एन ओमेगा नॉट टी प्लस सिग्मा एन इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी बी एन साइन एन ओमेगा नॉट टी दिस अ फोर इयर सीरीज एक्सपैंशन Here you a n b n and a naught. These are called Fourier constants. Fourier series constants. So these Fourier series constants are difficult to find. They have integration formulas, different formulas they have. How to find a naught? How to find a n? How to find b n? They have separate formulas. But using those formulas, it takes lot of time. Nearly fifteen minutes it takes to calculate a n. Fifteen minutes for b n, and five minutes for a naught. So it takes nearly. Thirty-five minutes to calculate a naught, a n, and b n. So it is tedious process. So for that purpose, we have, uh, I mean, we have uh, introduced something known as symmetric conditions. Okay, using the symmetric conditions, you can easily find. I have not in. I have not. Uh, I mean, I have not written all the symmetric conditions. These are taken from standard textbooks. They have already given in the textbook. It's not shortcut given by me. Okay. given by some authors so using the symmetric conditions you can calculate a and b n easily without any tedious integration jobs fine symmetric conditions are of four types but as of now i'll discuss three types because just i want to discuss simple symmetric conditions okay so first one is odd symmetry if a function if a given input wave form x of t if it is an odd function odd function you know how to find x of t must be equal to a minus of x of minus t if it is then you can call it as an odd function this is an example of odd function i think you know how to find how to recognize if it is an even function or odd function i hope so just what you need to do just take the mirror image of uh, right half to the left half then you invert with respect to this axis then whatever you get is nothing but an odd function or If its value is zero at origin, then you conclude it as an odd function. Okay, this is the shortcut technique to find odd symmetry or odd function. So whenever if the given signal is an odd signal, then simply you conclude that even part of x of t, that is a naught and a n are zeros. If it if the given function is an odd function, conclude that a naught and a n are zeros. B n you need to find by normal integration. You cannot escape from that. It takes fifteen minutes. Fine. No problem. Thirty-five minutes reduced to fifteen minutes, right? It's okay. So, if the given function is an odd function, conclude that a naught and a n are zero. If the given function is an even function, how can how to find even function? See, with respect to y-axis, the right part and left part are mirror images. You can see. If that is the case, see mirror image exactly mirror image. You can check. This and this are mirror images to each other. If they are mirror images. With respect to y-axis, then conclude that it is an even signal. Then, for odd signal, find the mirror image with respect to y-axis. Then you, f then again you find whatever you find here, right? Again you flip this. Uh, again you find the mirror image with respect to x-axis because there are two minuses with respect to x-axis, with respect to y-axis. Here only with respect to y-axis, two mi one minus. Okay, that is the reason you are finding mirror image only with respect to y-axis if you are getting. Same, if it is acting like mirror, then mirror image. If you are getting, then the given waveform is a obeying even symmetry. If it is having even symmetry, the odd part of it will be zero. That is, B n will be zero. Simply, you need to calculate A n and A naught. Okay. So some part we have reduced with this symmetric conditions. The calculations of some of the Fourier constants can be skipped. You can tell them it as zeros. Fine. Now, odd symmetry, even symmetry, I discussed. Now, let us discuss what is given in the question. Is nothing but half wave symmetry. What is this half wave symmetry? Let us see. Okay, so half wave symmetry. Consider any wave form. Okay, so before going to that, the condition is x of t is nothing but minus of x of t plus or minus t by two. Don't get uh, confused or uh, don't get panic by seeing this huge condition. It's very simple. I'll explain you with an example. Consider an odd signal. This is an odd signal, right? Yes, because you already seen this, right? 
second one is an even signal you can check mirror image with respect to y axis this is mirror image with respect to y axis after that is x axis see if you don't understand I'll explain once again see right half is known to you see right half is known to you find the left half mirror image okay so what is mirror see this is known to you assume that this is known first step what you need to do for odd function is find the mirror image so this is the mirror image right then second step what you need to do is for the for the finded mirror image once again find the mirror image with respect to x-axis now so what you're going to get you're going to get like this it is like this with respect to x-axis okay so if this one matches with left half of the original signal then you can conclude that it is an odd function fine this is what i want to explain about odd function now let us see this half wave symmetry okay fine half wave symmetry it can exist for even as well as odd okay so So how to find half wave symmetry is this is once again simple just listen to me consider one complete wave in that again you consider half wave okay let me consider that so what I am doing is this is one complete wave correct from here to here this is one complete wave which I am indicating with blue color this is one complete wave out of which what I am asking is just consider half wave half wave name itself tells half wave so consider from one point to other point so I am considering only first half okay I am considering this half okay first consider complete wave then choose the half wave two steps you need to do okay this is the half wave if this half wave then what you need to do is shift to second half shift to second half and flip this shift to second half the first half then flip this two steps I did in the same way first what I did is I shifted to first half then I then I flipped with respect to x-axis I made the mirror image with respect to x-axis okay if you are getting the same image then you can call this as a half wave symmetry obeying wave so I hope you understood just like in a one complete wave if the first half and second half will if they cancel out each other then you can call it as half wave if it is obeying half wave symmetry means this half and this half are just like this one right so first half what you do is you shift to here so it becomes like this then again you flip if it is coinciding with the second half if you do after doing this process then you can call this as it is obeying half wave symmetry half shift here and flip with respect to here if it exactly coincides with the half already present here then you can call it as a half wave symmetry obeying wave so an odd signal will obey half wave symmetry here it is obeying it need not be ha odd it can be even also even an even signal you consider the one half okay this is the first half okay this is the second half first half what I'm doing I'm shifting to second half okay then I'm inverting with respect to x-axis I'm making the mirror image with respect to x-axis so if it, this is the mirror what happens this will come something like this so this will exactly match with the existing wave already so hence this is called a half wave symmetric e even half wave symmetric obeying wave fine so using this what you can conclude in Fourier series is you can conclude that a naught is zero and a n or b n if they exist see for this odd wave what doesn't exist a n will not exist bn will exist bn will exist only for when n is odd similarly here even signal a n a naught is zero of course for half wave symmetry if it is obeying a naught is of course it will be zero here even signal means bn is zero and a n exists that is tedious job once again if you feel is a n exists only when n is odd fine this is advantage so it is doesn't exist for even values that is a conclusion we made so what is the advantage of half wave symmetry still we can simplify within this bn after filtering this even and odd part still you can simplify in the bn or an part that's what i'm saying an or bn exist for odd values of n only fine it can be n or bn based on even or odd symmetry fine if the if the given wave is not even and odd but still it can 
exist a half wave symmetry it doesn't depend upon whether the signal is odd or even it doesn't depend at all it can be normal any random function also it need not be even an odd function fine so let us see the question a periodic function of half wave symmetry is necessarily it should be an even no it can be odd also so wrong it is odd no it can be even also neither odd nor even let us keep this side both even and odd it can possible no because at a time odd and even doesn't takes place so it is not it can be neither if it is not necessarily is saying if it is neither nor uh, nor if it is neither odd and even nor even then also half wave symmetry will obey if is there any rule that it should be definitely odd and even then only my half wave symmetry will obey no that's why i eliminated option d odd function means it can be even also somebody will say even function somebody will say it can be odd so hence i eliminated a and b that you understood why i eliminated d means is there any condition that definitely the signal should be both odd and even function then only my uh, half wave symmetry is obeyed it's something like that no for the only even function it is obeyed only odd it's obeyed so it need not be both so only option left is it should it can be neither even if it is neither it will obey definitely so hence the right choice is option c it can be neither nor odd nor even so if you have any queries post in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting latest updates thank you